Welcome to another weekly wordplay. This is Stephanie from Apex Languages. In this week's episode, I'll be introducing you to a collection of synonyms that all mean scary, one of which is spooky. Very useful vocabulary to describe Halloween, the pandemic, and especially Election Day this year, don't you think? A little bit of Halloween history to start us off. Why do we here in the United States revel so in our celebration of the undead? Believe it or not, the word Halloween is actually a shortened version of All Hallows Eve, also known as the evening before All Saints Day. It may seem strange that what many consider to be an evil holiday grew out of a very holy one. That's what hallowed means, holy, sacred. But Catholic observances like this one have an interesting habit of collecting extra baggage. Think Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. They tend to absorb the cultural observances that were already present. In this case, the ancient Celtic celebration of Samhain. Around November 1st in the UK, the harvest was in and the weather was turning for the worst. Amongst all that death and miserable cold, people believed that the boundary between the land of the dead and the living blurred, allowing ghosts and other evil creatures to cross over and cause problems. To scare these bad spirits away, people lit bonfires and wore costumes. A lot has changed in 2000 years, even in the past 50 years. Children going from house to house nowadays shout, trick or treat. Not too long ago, that was more of a threat. Give us candy or we'll play a prank on you, like throwing rotten eggs at your house. Don't worry though. Believe it or not, the holiday has become much more family friendly in the past few decades. It's just an excuse for kids to dress up and eat junk food while adults escape from reality for a little while and pretend to be kids themselves once more. Of course, no fun for you yet. There's vocabulary to be learned. Like I said earlier, all the words this week are synonyms for scary, but with minor variations. That's the problem with synonyms. They're rarely exactly the same and that can lead to bad usage. Let's start with spooky. Say it with me. Spooky, spooky, spooky. This is an adjective, again like scary, and it comes from the Dutch word for ghost. So to be spooky is to be ghost-like, like a spook. Yes, spook is also an English word. It's both a noun and a verb. Though the noun is considered a little informal, more importantly, for many years, spook was used as a racist term to describe African Americans. So keep that in mind, and it's probably best not to use it when describing people directly, okay? But there's nothing wrong with the adjective and verb forms. What do ghosts do? Well, they haunt places, showing up where they're not wanted, refusing to leave, and they scare people. While this latter definition is, again, considered a bit more informal, I'd say it's a lot more common. You can say that your brother jumped out of the closet and spooked you, or that you spooked after he jumped out from nowhere. Hunters use this quite frequently, warning others not to spook their prey. One more sentence for you so you can see all three parts of speech in action. Halloween is a very spooky holiday, but don't let it spook you. Remember, spooks aren't real. Next, we have ghoulish. Not to be confused with goulash, the Hungarian stew. Repeat it with me. Ghoulish, ghoulish, ghoulish. This adjective means monstrous, like a monster, cruel, really, really mean, or fascinated with death. Scary is a logical side effect of all the rest. Clearly, calling someone ghoulish is definitely not a compliment. 
This word actually comes from Arabic, where they have a monster, the ghoul, itself a derivative of the verb to grab or seize. Ghouls, the English equivalent, are evil spirits that rob graves and eat corpses. I'm sure we can all agree, a pretty monstrous thing to do. Let's see an example. Dr. Frankenstein was ghoulish, always thinking about death and, like a real-life ghoul, he actually dug up a body to experiment. Frankenstein's monster, on the other hand, was ghoulish in a different way, cruelly murdering everyone he came across, including his creator's fiance. What a monster. Next, eerie. A great word for all you vowel lovers out there. Say it with me. Eerie, eerie, eerie. This old English adjective had plenty of possible definitions, including cowardly, useless, even unmanly. So how did a word meaning scared come to mean its opposite, scary? It actually is still used the same way in certain parts of Scotland in particular, but this idea of being afraid of superstitions, a silly thing only for unmanly cowards, right? Started being used to describe the things that inspire those superstitions as well. Unusual things, things that you can't quite put your finger on it, but something's not right. And that causes anxiety or fear. With ghoulish and spooky, you know what you're afraid of, but with eerie, you're not quite sure. I had an eerie feeling as if we were being watched. Maybe you are, maybe you're not, and it's all in your head but you don't feel great about the situation either way. One more English word for scary is, believe it or not, hairy. Yes, as in having a lot of hair. Well, men who wander into the wilderness and have a tough time with things generally come back a lot hairier than before, right? Not having shaved in days or weeks or even longer. From this kind of thinking, the association between hairy and difficult arose. Difficult, so difficult that it causes fear or anxiety. A hairy ordeal, like in this sentence, is a bad experience full of danger and hardships. Escaping from that haunted house was a hairy ordeal. We almost didn't make it. Just the memory alone is scary enough to stand your hair on end. More accurate, you spend most of your time afraid for your life. Thus, hairy is scary. Remember that this No Shave November, and please just don't. Had enough? Not without homework. <laughs> Write me a sentence using the vocabulary we learned today. Or better yet, create your own horror story. Post it in the comments below or in an email. While you're at it, are there any other words you think I should have included in this list? Share them as well. I've heard a rumor that Halloween will be back next year as well. Whatever your plans for the season this year, I hope you can enjoy the holiday for what it is. A little bit of ghoulish fun. And make sure you vote to ensure that we don't get stuck with a real ghoul in the White House. If so, things are bound to get a lot hairier before they get better. Thank you as always for watching. Check out my website at apexlanguages.com for even more videos. I'll see you in November, guys. Stay happy, healthy, and safe.